Now, while the holidays bring joy to some, they can be a source of sorrow for others. With about 2.5 million deaths annually in the U.S., an average of five grieving loved ones are left behind. But there are steps that you can add gratitude ahead of the season. What are you thankful for this holiday season? Probably family and friends. Yep. Good health. I'm thankful for my family, my friends. My family, my health. And living in America, for sure. Scientists who study positive psychology found that individuals who performed a one-time act of mindful gratitude increased their feelings of happiness by 10 percent and lessened depressive symptoms by 35 percent. However, the happy effects wore off three to six months later. So how can you keep up this practice long term? One, count your blessings. Set aside time weekly to sit down and reflect on what you're thankful for. Two, write a thank you note. What better way to express gratitude than to thank someone for their impact in your life? It can be a letter, an email, or even a sticky note you leave on their desk. We wrote a ton of thank you notes for wedding gifts when we, 35 years ago, <laughs> um, and we'd sure like to get some for the gifts that we've been sending lately. Three, pray. Some see it as an opportunity to be hopeful and expectant for good things to come. Four, keep a gratitude journal. Create a habit of jotting down the meaningful moments of your day. That way, when life gets worrisome, you can have evidence that better days are sure to come. Incorporating these tips into your weekly routine can foster a healthy sense of gratitude, not just during the holidays, but all year long. Yeah, so interesting. And the thing is here is that, you know, there are big things that we can be grateful for, but also small things, you know? Mm -hmm. So what, what are you most grateful for this Honestly, holiday? Honestly, what am I grateful for? Yeah. Well, obviously my family and friends, I love them, but restaurants because I do not cook. So <laughs> I have to have restaurants to eat. Yeah, and, DoorDash, I would say that yeah. you're probably most that thankful for DoorDash. That is my DoorDash. favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I tell you, I DoorDash everything. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I tell Kay, she needs to at least learn how to cook spaghetti. Yeah. Bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't even know how to do that. Anyway, what yeah. are you grateful for? Right? Yes, I am grateful for family. Like, I mean, you know, especially around the holidays, just being with you know my parents and all of that like you oh, just yeah. truly don't you take it for granted you know some people don't have their parents around so you know that's just a blessing that I still have them and you know aunts uncles cousins so it's great yeah it's awesome so I would say my village you know which extends yeah. to even you all you know when you think mm -hmm. about it it's like people you can rely on and count on that have your back and yeah. instinctually too you know that know yeah. when things are, are down so I'm, I'm just thankful right now and you've place. been there for me when I I'm know down. I, you know yes. I try to be you yeah, know yeah. We, you, you are you're, you're great. good you are oh my great. goodness we just are such a good oh, team, yes, I think. I think you. I kind of missed the assignment. I am grateful for restaurants. <laughs> I am very grateful for family, friends, yeah. and you guys. Yeah, yeah. The village is huge, and I think we all have a really good, strong village. Mm -hmm. We're we're blessed for yeah, that. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Into that. Right, we yeah. need to say this every day when people get on our nerves. Uh, <laughs> what what just from Hashtag blessed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we can oh, be thankful for the forecast, too, this week.